freewheeling into your shot at number 46, it's the trusty two-wheel steed that made a virtue of style over substance. For me, this was the number one toy. When you owned one of these, it was the equivalent of owning a two-wheeled Rolls-Royce. When you were on that, you were on a motorbike. It's something straight out of Easy Rider. The coolest thing. The Raleigh Chopper, a design classic. They remind me of those American dragster racing bikes. The front wheel is much smaller than the back wheel, and the rider sits right at the back end here with these high roll bars behind him. Then looks extremely sporty. Understandably, many claim credit for its iconic appearance. Not only the good people at Raleigh, but also the team responsible for the Reliant Robin. I think I made up my mind even at the meeting, that it would have a big wheel and a small wheel because of this business of transmitting the power through the rear wheel like a, like a Formula One car. Well, whoever was responsible, this brave new world of bicycling was not without its flaws. Although aesthetically the, the bikes looked great, they were real pig's ears to ride. You'd never win the Tour de France on one. It was designed for, you know, going quite slowly to the newsagents and buying some fizzers and going home again. You couldn't do wheelies. If you tried to do a wheelie, you would just go straight over backwards because it was very, very heavy at the back. Wheelies were the least of your worries when manhandling your chopper. The dangerous thing with the chopper bike is that the gears are um, down here um, rather than on the handlebars. The gear stick was in a very poorly positioned place if you're a boy and you're on a bike that might stop suddenly. It was good for a girl, anyway, it was good, uh, but it was probably handed down from my brother and, and, well, he's got on to have four kids, so it's probably fine, isn't it? 